Today we are making the creamiest Yukon gold mashed potatoes with brown butter. This is my go-to recipe, so be sure to save it. So I started by prepping these potatoes and they're already cut in about three quarter of an inch cubes. So I'm just gonna add these to this pot and then fill this so the potatoes are covered with water. Always remember to heavily salt the water. And I'm just gonna cover this so that the water boils a little faster. One of the most important parts about making mashed potatoes is making sure you warm up all the dairy. So the sour cream, the milk, and the butter I'm going to heat up first. And so since I'm going to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and start by browning the butter. We're basically just going to cook this until it froths up and turns brown. Okay, so stage one is just to melt the butter. Now you want to go ahead and bring it to a boil. So you can see it's kind of getting this white frothy layer on top, but it still hasn't browned yet. Now you can see the bubbles kind of slow down, but it gets like this frothy layer on the top. And finally, you'll see like these little pieces of almost like brown sand kind of have formed. So I killed the heat and now I'm going to add in four cloves of garlic. And we're just gonna lightly saute this garlic in the brown butter. So my potatoes are done. And as you can see, these are fork tender, but not completely falling apart. So the potatoes are done, and then the garlic has just barely sauteed in the residual heat from the brown butter. So we're gonna finish this off. With the heat on medium low, I'm gonna add in the milk, sour cream, and yes, I like a lot of sour cream. And of course, season this with salt. And I almost forgot the pepper. So now that this is warmed up, I'm going to turn it off and mash the potatoes. Okay, so to mash my potatoes, I'm gonna be using a food mill. This is gonna make the potatoes super smooth, not lumpy at all, very similar to a ricer. You can also use a meat masher or a potato masher by hand to get a lumpier consistency. The only thing you have to be careful with is an electric mixer. It can make the potatoes gummy because it tends to overwork them a little bit. Okay, now that the potatoes are rice, we're gonna add in the dairy. Now I'm gonna fold these together. You just wanna keep stirring these until they come together. You can find the full recipe for these on my blog, biteswithbrie.com.